nothing short of criminal. The story tonight from Channel 4's Sarah Dorsey. This Franklin High School got an impromptu spring cleaning today. Wet and dry. All because of a couple pretty bold vandals who broke into the school just before midnight, leaving a white haze of fire extinguisher powder in their wake and this taunting, stenciled message for administrators. I'm hearing it's just a couple, a couple kids trying to be funny. But the school is not laughing, sending home this message to parents. We are not taking this situation lightly, and we will be prosecuting the individuals responsible. And canceling classes this morning forcing students to wait it out in the gym for two hours. Well, everybody was basically just trying to get home because we were stuck in the gym and just sitting there, and there was kind of no point in being here um, because they were just taking their time and cleaning it up. In the end, though, the joke will likely be on the two boys behind all of this. When you have to replace tile because it's been ruined by spray paint, when you disrupt a school day like this school day has been disrupted, that's vandalism. That's not a prank. Despite the vandals' best effort to cover their tracks, ditching their stencils in the toilet, and spray painting security cameras, police say the boys were caught on tape. And if they're caught for real, they could face felony charges. This is not acceptable behavior. This is not just a high school graduation time prank. This is a crime that affected a lot of people. Police believe the boys are likely students or former students because they were so familiar with the school. If they are caught, though, they are likely to learn a lesson not usually taught in high school, one on the criminal justice system. That is because vandalism costing more than 500 bucks, Dan and DK, is considered a felony here in the state of Tennessee. Serious stuff. Sarah Dorsey tonight, thank you. The school says the damage will likely set them back thousands of dollars once you add up the replaced tile, the fresh paint, and the 30 staffers called in to help clean it up.